Hi everyone, this is Billy. This is how I arrange the different crystal radio coils or antennas in my room. The copper one is for short wave radio. The one with a lot of red wires hanging vertically. That one I use it to receive the strong stations, the AM stations. The one that is hung horizontally above the white one I use it to receive the weak AM stations. So in this video, I'll show you how to make the white one. Uh, it's made a different way without a cross. I want to show you another way to make the one meter loop antenna for the radio. Uh, this is a neater way and much easier. No drilling, no screwing required. Just screwing. To make it, you need these components. Four set, one meter long 20 mm PVC pipes. Four 3D four-way joints for the 20 millimeter PVC pipe. Four plastic comb. And the wires for the antenna. You can use the list wire or electric wire. First, we chop off the handle of the comb. We just need the middle part. Then we can use the hot glue gun to glue the comb onto the T joints. We will repeat this and make four of these. And we will connect the pipe with the joint and make uh, the frame of our antenna coil. Then we'll start winding, again we'll skip one notch so that we have enough separation between the first turn and the next turn. Now this is again to fight the skin effect. So we finished winding, here is the coil. We'll mark the place that is the last turn. Uh, so we can create a tap at uh, one turn before the last turn. This wire has 660 tiny insulated wires. They are insulated by paint, so you need to put your shoulder iron at a very high temperature, say 350 degrees Celsius or above. Put a lot of solder 
so that the heat can be transferred to all the 660 tiny wires that melt the hinge that insulated them. So we want them to all connect together so we can take all the energy received in the coil through the wires. So this is for the tapping. Uh, we use the same list wire as the tapping wire to have better efficiency. I connect a 1mm copper wire at the end of this tapping wire so it will be easier to connect to the connectors later on. I have to repeat these steps at the tapping point of the coil, that is the last turn. We'll put a lot of solder to melt all the paint of the this wire. Then we connect it with the tapping wire by soldering. After this, we can connect it to the connector of our universal crystal radio module. So that's how it looks. We will now be ready to do some testing. Thank you. 